Kansas State was picked to finish eighth last season, but won 10 games, finished tied for second, and earned a bid to the Cotton Bowl. This season, the Wildcats will be projected to finish in the top half of the standings. Coach Bill Snyder knows that complacency could be the opponent this season, but he believes his team will remain hungry and focused as it was in 2011. Quarterback Colin Klein had a breakout performance in his first season as a starter. He accounted for 69% of K-State's offense, carried the ball 317 times, and scored 27 touchdowns. He spent the spring working on his passing. He's very diligent about working on virtually everything, and you know, the, the passing is, uh, you know, is a part of it. Uh, how he throws the ball mechanically, you know, he's worked diligently on his mechanics. He's worked diligently on going through progressions and attempting to make and, and therefore making better decisions. He's one of those young guys that, you know, if he sets his mind to it, when he decides he wants to improve upon something, then he works diligently at it and, and normally accomplishes that. Uh, you know, he's just that kind of a guy. The Wildcats have a veteran group of receivers back, along with running back John Hubert, who gained 970 yards rushing last season. Senior tight end Travis Tannehill appears healthy and had an outstanding spring. The offensive line, however, must replace three starters. The defense will be anchored by middle linebacker Arthur Brown, while cornerback Nigel Malone and safety Ty Zimmerman are returning starters in the secondary. However, replacing starting defensive backs David Garrett and Tyson Hartman will be a challenge. Kansas State's season opener will be against Missouri State on September 1st in Manhattan. The Wildcats start Big 12 play at Oklahoma on September 22nd. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.